Happy St. Sotteringham's Day. Uh, Arsenal have beaten Hull by three goals to one. And that confirms that once again, they will finish above Tottenham Hotspur. Um, I think we knew that was coming sometime. It's been, it's not been a closely run race this year, but always nice to see it confirmed, and especially with a few ex-Spurs players still determined to do their part on the night. Arsenal's first goal, uh, a deflected free kick, which came from a concession of possession from Tom Huddleston, a foul from Jake Livermore, and the flick uh, from Michael Dawson. So, good to see they're not mending their ways. Um, Arsenal absolutely scintillating in the first half. Really, Hull couldn't match them, couldn't live with them. Um, and it was 3-0 at half-time. Could well have been more. Alexis had a good chance that was well saved by Harper. Uh, in the second half, they got back into the game. Well, that's an exaggeration. They scored a goal. Uh, but... Arsenal resume control and if you think about our trips to Hull in the past they've been able to provide real aerial threat on set pieces and if I'm honest I thought this was going to be a big test for David Ospina by the end of the game Hull had not managed to get a single corner kick so credit to the back four for mostly keeping them at bay even the goal they did score ought not to have really stood as Koscielny was fouled in the build up had he been on his feet I'm not sure it would have happened going forward as I've already said, Arsenal absolutely brilliant. Uh, another two goals for Alexis. He's up to 24 now. I think he's two away from matching the tally that Thierry Henry got in his first season with the club. What an incredible success he's been. I thought Aaron Ramsey did very well from the right-hand side. Look, it's not his favourite position, and at times we do lack width when... Although the only occasion that's been a chronic problem has been when Hector Bellerin hasn't been there. Um... But, you know, Freddie Jumberg was not a, a natural right-sided midfielder, but like Aaron Ramsey, he had that ability to make runs in and around the box and, and finish. Uh, Ramsey showed that today. Santi Cazorla was uh, as good as he has been for most of the season, really, in the centre of midfield. I really hope we can cl cling on to him this summer. And Meza Ozil, just some stunning touches, to be honest with you. I think... This was one of his best games in Arsenal shirt. Often you'll see Ozil be incredibly efficient and effective, but tonight he was showboating a little bit and it was a wonder to watch because obviously he's got this incredible technical gift. Uh, and when you add confidence to that, you've got someone who's just a joy to watch playing football. Um, so on we, on we go. It was good to see Jack Wilshire get a little run out here. I thought he looked pretty sharp, to be honest. Um... Theo Walcott got on to... I mean, we could have had more in the second half. I think we ought to have had a, a penalty for a handball. Alexis was clearly determined to try and get his first hat-trick in English football. Didn't quite happen, but honestly, it can't be too far away. So, second place still very much on. I feel like a lot is riding on that, that trip to Old Trafford. And we've got another seven days off now before we play Swansea, I think I'm right in saying. Another Monday night football. Um... But lots of highlights to watch. I think if any Vines or YouTube compilations you know, come out of Ozil's highlights from that game, they'll be well worth a watch. I'll speak to you soon.